and he was little, sort of struggling for his life. He was trying, but it was too much for him to bear. As I noticed, it looked like he got shot about at least four or five times because they had about five shells on the ground over there, so it was a slim chance for him to make it. I just like to say to these young guys in Baltimore City, please, my brothers, find something else to do. Because right now it's going to be the squeezy kids could be carrying guns, people in the cars could be carrying guns. So there's another turf war that's going to be going on about washing people's windows. This little brother did not deserve to die. One thing I can say about these kids that was right here, these kids never bother nobody. If, if they were asking you for your window and you said no, they throw up their hand, they keep running walking to the next car. That's why I was so surprised to see what happened to this boy today. To me, it seemed like it was something personal. It wasn't like someone was in a car that shot him. It was someone came out of an alley that shot him. 